Now that we've added air systems, loops, and zones, the next step is to create an energy model. This is the step that ties all the stuff we just did to our energy analysis tools that are available. Without this step, everything we just did is for naught. What I'd like to do in this video is create an energy model for our analytical spaces. In Revit, I'll go open. I'm going to grab that MEP progress analysis model. Click open. Wonderful. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to create an actual energy model. It'll create two views so we can view both our zones and our analytical spaces. Go to the Analyze tab. Under Energy Optimization, we need to create an energy model. We're about to create an energy model. This may take considerable time, but we know we've got a ridiculously small model here, so we don't have to worry about it. Click Create the Energy Analytical Model. So now that we've created the model, what we'll see is we have a few unassigned items. Look, Hall 100A, 100B, 100C, right? We hover over them, it shows them. They're unassigned. That's why I wanted to show you that. Now, if we drill into AHU1, our VAV has tied us back to that. So if we drill in, we can now see our actual exam rooms. These are now part of our energy model. Now that we've done this, we can perform further analysis on these. So remember, this is the one step that's going to tie all of our water loops, all of our air systems, all of our equipment back into an energy analysis model. Now we can go in and perform specific systems analysis.